Hey guys, this is uh, Christian again with Coach That Motorworks. Um, I forgot to shoot an intro for the leaf spring work that I did. But so, like I said, um, I got some new leaf springs. Uh, they, were, they were on sale. I got an email from CJ Pony Parts and I got new leaf springs, uh, shackles, and U bolts. It's on sale for like 200 bucks plus I think $30 shipping or something. So. 230 shipped to my door is pretty cheap. Um, it was on my list to do for the wedding, but it was on my B list or uh, secondary list, whatever you want to call it. But at any rate, um, finally got around to putting on. Uh, it's just every time I went over a speed bump, it's like I should have been wearing a mouth guard. I just, oh, it was bad. But they are on now, so um, I'm going to just uh, cut to these clips showing you how I kind of put it on there. And I'll bring you back at the end, show you the final product in the daylight. Bye. All right, so here we go. Right now we were looking at around, let's for argument's sake, say 25, okay? I think so. All right, 25 and a quarter. It's our current height. All right, so I've got the bottom plate off. And so, the way I would start this is you take the two bolts off, one's there, one's up there, and then you take the side plate off that's over there. And uh, then you would, I had to actually cut my shackles off um, because they were just so, so rusted. Um, yeah, I mean, I soaked them for a few weeks and they weren't budging. Pretty good access when you take the wheel off. You can get right in there with an uh, angle grinder. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the front bolt. If you notice, I jacked it up right here. Trying not to get in the way of me getting a wrench on the backside under there. And I get a bolt here. So I'm gonna have to soak it, um, continue to soak it, back it out, juice it up, back it out, tighten it and juice it back and forth, back and forth. Um, I'm gonna start getting going on this and I'll bring you guys back. All right, leaf spring is out. So obviously get that bolt out, let it drop. And then this goes up here like that. And that hole, obviously. You just kind of keep jiggling back and forth so you get all the way out and you can tip it down and you're out. Yeah, definitely time to replace these. So let's take a look at the new parts. All right, so this is what we got here in the CJ Penny Parts uh, rear leaf spring kit. Uh, we've got new shackles with bushings on there, new U-bolts, which obviously I had to cut. Um, and these are the new pins that go in the, in the front side of the leaf spring towards the driver, towards the front of the car. So yeah. Let's get going. All right, so here we can take a pretty good look at the springs here. So this is pretty shot. Now, the only thing I'm noticing on the old one is, is like a crustiness, but I don't know. I don't have just a hole on the bottom of my axle. It's just kind of like an in-ground divot. So I'll try to show you when I'm uh, doing the right side here. Um, but you can see here, but I mean, yeah, I mean, just the arch of them. Yeah, I think this should be a lot nicer. All right, now let's start tackling that other side. Like that, we're done. So a uh, pretty short video. Uh, I was shooting a bunch of the clips at night. So um, hopefully uh, you're still able to see them and they come around pretty good. But let's show you the final product here now in the daylight. All right, so right off the bat, um, we've gained some height here, as you can see. Um, still need to be broken in. I've only driven it about 50 miles or so since I put them on, but um, as you can see, got our new hardware in there. Looks all good. But yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, the handling is dramatically different noticeably different the back end is roll around and yes i know the shocks are still the old ones 
but um, I'm still unsure, you know, in the future what I'm going to do with this. As far as suspension wise, do I want to do like a coilover in the front uh, and beef that up, or if I want one of those stiffening bars that go across? I thought those were just for the convertibles, but I see some people put them on. Don't really know if it's going to help me or not with the performance of just a 250. It's not like I got a big V8 in there, so I don't know. Let me know what you think, uh, if I should do something like that, or um, if this is kind of good for the kind of power ratio that I got. But again, I appreciate you guys watching my videos and let me know what you think. If you got some suggestions, shoot them down below. You throw me a like, I'd appreciate it. And uh, take care guys, I'll talk to you later, bye.